Only half of us book our airport parking when we book our holiday, and 7% of us wait until we actually get to the airport and pay the going price at the gate. Now, 7% might not sound like it's very much, but that equates to 1.2 million people, and they could be saving on average £155 each time they book in advance of their airport parking rather than literally turning up on the day. Now, couple of trips a year, that's £310. That's the same as a flight to New York or even a London theatre break. Well, I think one of the most common mistakes is the fact that people concentrate so much on the holiday itself, they forget about all the peripherals, the holiday extras that you need to book at the same time as you've actually booked your holiday. So if you want a checklist about how you should be booking your holiday this summer, it's quite simple. Make sure you're looking at booking an at or protected package holiday. That's always going to be my advice. Post pandemic, it really is the best way to protect your money. Make sure you book your travel insurance the minute you book your holiday. You'll get extra cover and protection from doing that. Then look at all of your holiday extras. Make sure you're doing your airport parking in advance. You might want to take a fast track or you might want to actually have an airport lounge as well. So get all that booked in um, and that means you're not going to miss out should it get busier towards the summer. Also make sure that you get your currency before you get to the airport. If you get currency at the airport, it's gonna cost you far, far more than had you booked it in advance. And it's very easy to do in advance. You can have money actually delivered to the airport so you can get a really good currency rate by going online and then just pick it up at the airport or pop into your local post office or others. 